It's the Joe Padula Show, Clarksville's conversation. Absolutely. Make sure that uh, you hit the subscribe button and the whole bit. All right. Election 2020 update. What happens now that a judge in Pennsylvania rules that unconfirmed identity ballots? That means ballots that they had no idea what the identity of who sent the ballot, they don't count. Plus also, who are the witnesses under oath that are coming forward about vans in Nevada filling out ballots for Joe Biden down by the river? And did the Dominion voting machines delete 2.7 million votes nationwide for Donald Trump? Oh, my God. Well, the things that the mainstream media is not telling you is now on the Joe Padula Show. Absolutely. Make sure to subscribe, click like, leave your comments, and definitely help us out and share this video right now. All right. Elections. You guys following everything, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. Fun times? Yeah. Yeah. Now we are uh, a, a, a week and two days following uh, November 3rd, the election night, mm-hmm. and we still don't have a winner. Now, if you listen to the media, they have called the election for Joe Biden. <laughs> well, luckily in our amazing country, in all these hundreds of years, media does not confirm a president. It is the officials and the certified electoral college that makes our presidents okay so yeah if you're listening to uh where cnn and fox news and they're going uh, president-elect president-elect is a made-up word by the way yes Mm -hmm. okay that's not an official term i don't know if you guys know this or not so is office of the (laughs) president-elect right Right. these are all made up terms by the media by the way so they can feel the value if you will right Mm -hmm. all right so uh here let me go to uh let's go to the map here I will say though that that Fox has been Fox sucks. Cover- I hate Fox, but I I was watching a show on Fox the other day, and then it clicked over to the news, and they were actually really. I mean, I was surprised at how unbiased they were discussing the situation. Oh no no no! Oh, In they, that moment, no, they suck. <laughs> yep, they They're suck. dead to me. They, they probably said something that you liked. Yep. Probably. Yeah, and probably. I'm not, I'm not I can't like that. I can't like Fox News. I switched over to Newsmax. Newsmax. Actually, yeah. Newsmax yeah. is yeah. unbiased. No, I, they are unbiased on all. Like I said, I, I I hate Fox, but I was watching The Masked Singer followed by another show, and then it was just boom. The Masked Singer. The news. <laughs> another I, thing I haven't watched that in a while. <laughs> it's fun. Something else I'm liking about Newsmax is they don't they don't bicker. Yeah. Like they don't have people no. coming yeah. on and battling things out. No, they talk. They, just tell it they talk. Yeah. yeah, that's it. And that's why I like it. You know, yeah. The, so. the Newsmax is is killing it in the ratings. Yeah. Mm-hmm. OK, they just surpassed Fox Business, by the way. Yeah. And Fox News as a whole is now behind CNN and MSNBC in the ratings. Well, that's not mm-hmm. shocking. Do you know why? Because they suck. Because they called the race without any reason. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they were all, all of them were all over the place. When we were watching it, you had one number from the Associated Press. You had one on CNN. You had a different one on Fox. Yeah. I mean, it was Do you remember over. when Fox called Virginia with 2% of it, the voters? I was like, yeah. wait, how do you call that? I missed that. They called Arizona yeah. Yeah. and refused to call Texas or Florida, yep. even though Texas were, I mean, huge, massive wins for Trump. Mm-hmm. So uh, let's go to uh, let's go to the map here real quick. All right, so let's take a look at our map. If it pops up, there it is. Okay, let's take a look at. Start with Pennsylvania. That thing does not want to be interactive today, so we're not going with the map, which means I got to restart this damn thing. Hey, I am not doing it right now. Don't do it. All right, no way, babe. I learned my lesson. Oh, yeah. uh, I forgot to tell you, I watched Saturday Night Live's Days of Pair. Oh, yeah. And is there a crowd there? Why that was filming? No, they're uh, they're piping it in like they're doing because uh, I was uh, I watched that little 16 minute stand up comedy bit he did. Uh huh. And he. He uh he made fun of Trump. Yeah. And he made fun of Biden. Yeah. People got mad when he ma- made fun of Biden, but they laughed when they made fun when he made fun of Trump. He noticed that though. He was like, man. Well, if they <laughs> if they have a piped in audience. Yeah. 
Interesting. Yeah. Well, well, the way I only, I don't usually watch it, but when I was watching it the other day, the way they've got it set up is it's it's a base it's a socially distanced okay and thing, they, but there's only like 30 people in the audience, mm-hmm. and you could tell they were piping yeah. in some of the audience. Yeah. It was way too loud to be and 25 the, people. Like and at then the sports the game. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. The Uncle Beans and the yeah, Angel. I saw that one. <laughs> I saw the I Uncle Beans and, and the All State game. Yeah. Uh, and what what Bay's talking about is uh, th- there is a uh, there's a board meeting with executives, mm-hmm. and they're firing. Aunt Jemima, mm-hmm. okay, and mm-hmm. Uncle Ben. You know how they, you know, cancel culture. Yeah. yeah. And so Aunt Jemima and Uncle Ben are in there, okay. They're like what about the Allstate guy? Yeah, and then yeah. and they're like, well, if you're gonna fire us, you gotta fire the Allstate guy. You know, you, yeah. you're in good hands, right? right. Yeah. And, then the and it's Dave Chappelle, <laughs> and he and, and they 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 rearranged his voice to okay, with the microphone yeah. and they made it deeper and he, <laughs> and he was like if you find me what about Count Dracula yeah. Uh, yeah. chocolate Count Chocula and there's yeah. Count or, Chocula uh, that's the why ghost. I love Chappelle the, nobody's the ghost safe from Chappelle. Blueberry mm. yeah Dave Chappelle goes look at this guy Count Chocula with his big n-word lips <laughs> oh <laughs> he did not say that yes, yes he did he yes did. he did yeah. oh snap wow a meal wow. of chocolate <laughs> <laughs> with those n-word lips you and then Angela Mom was like, well, I made him talk to two. I don't want to get fired. But you got to think, too. I mean, even though it's New York, those are all the Hollywood types. I mean, I, I don't really know very many actors, actresses who are who are Republicans. So it makes sense that they would be more. They're the out there. I them. just don't think they're vocal. Yeah. No, they're they don't talk. About their they're, job. Scared. No, they're scared. They're out there. But that's the thing is their their job security, what they're out there for. Yeah. They're actors. I mean, Hollywood's a big thing. They're like, I don't want to speak up because I'm in an industry that's very left wing. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so some of them are quiet, like you said. So. Well, it's like sports anyway. I mean, your your job is to literally entertain. So you're you're not a politico. You're, mm-hmm. you're I mean, sure, you're allowed to have a personal opinion, but you know, back in the day, uh, communism tried to take over Hollywood yep. here. Mm-hmm. And do you know who was president of the Screen Actors Guild who fought against them? Wasn't it Reagan? It was Ronald Reagan. Wilson yes, Reagan. I got one. right. Yes. Unreal. It looks like they won anyway, yeah. but uh, <laughs> but anyway, here uh, Pennsylvania. We'll start with Pennsylvania, okay? You get uh, 20, 20 electoral college vo- uh, votes up for grabs, okay? And the Pennsylvania judge, they they ruled that the that the some of the mail in ballots belonging to the first time voters, okay, in states who didn't confirm their identity between uh, before November 9th, all right, will not be counted. So remember all those other ballots that were coming in, dumping in. Because uh, election night, Trump had a, a about a eight hundred thousand lead, eight hundred thousand vote lead he in Pennsylvania. He was up like fifty seven percent to like forty two. Right, he was up huge. Like you went to bed on Tuesday saying, "Oh, well, looks like Trump's getting reelected." All right, and then you wake up and you go, "Wait a minute, what the hell just happened? Yeah. How did they get? <laughs> how did they get four hundred thousand votes in, at four a.m. in the mo- in the morning?" Yeah, right. And then we see all the videos of uh, in in Pennsylvania where they're blocking the ballot counting, where they wouldn't let the ballot, the official ballot counters, uh, ballot observers watch. They were letting them watch. What it was is that there were civilians that were lining up around trying to see in. And no, so oh, th- th- there's th- there's the article t- I read said that they did have the watchdogs that were allowed in there, mm-hmm. but they just didn't want civilians being able to peek in and and sort of spill what they're seeing. That's Why what not? I read. Well, so it's so you know, shady. I mean, it's, it's so shady. It's, it's the government. Of course, you, it's shady. You know, and uh, and not for nothing. Uh, you, you get these uh, uh, also in the state of Pennsylvania. Uh, the state legislators of Pennsylvania passed a law in 2019 that all votes must must be in by uh, November 3rd, election day, 8 p.m. That'd be okay. postmarked by right. Post. So, yeah, I think yeah. so. And they gave them, well, what I heard is that they had to be postmarked by the third, but that they were accepting them through that Friday. Well, here's the thing. The, the, uh, the state Supreme Court made a ruling saying that you can have uh, three days to bring them in. It doesn't have to be November 3rd. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, boom, here comes all these influx of votes. Well, the Supreme Court, they don't, make law this is where scotus is going to come in supreme court of the united mm-hmm. states your supreme courts they don't vote on laws they don't bring up laws they enforce, they enforce laws them, exactly. mm-hmm. your state legislators who made that pennsylvania election except uh what's it called uh, november 3rd 8 p.m that's mm-hmm. it 
So, all these votes, it's going to go to the Supreme Court. And I have a feeling that uh, a lot of them being thrown out. Let's go to Nevada. Yeah. Well, how about uh, Pennsylvania's AG saying, tweeting out the day before the election mm -hmm. that there's no way Trump will win Pennsylvania. Right. right. Yeah. Uh, the, uh, the lawyers are all on it. Mm -hmm. oh, sorry, I didn't What's want to up, interrupt. What's up, Intention? Uh, uh, Christy Nicholson, she said that uh, they called New York with 0%. <laughs> they called New York with 0%. Okay. I didn't see that, but then again, I, I mean, like I was saying earlier, so you could, all the numbers were all over. You, I mean, you couldn't, we were switching from every news outlet you can imagine, and every single one had a different projection and a different outlook. It was, it was, it was insane. A Nevada whistleblower. Describes a Biden van vote factory in a signed affidavit. Wow. Mm. So Nevada, <laughs> currently called by, not by officials, the mm -hmm. officials have not called anything, mm -hmm. by media for Joe Biden. Well, looks like Nevada's got some issues where they're investigating people that don't live in Nevada who voted in Nevada or lived in Nevada counties that didn't live in certain counties. And also a second sworn affidavit from a whistleblower who is an election worker in Clark County, Nevada, their biggest county, claims mail-in ballots were improperly filed in and out of a Biden-Harris van outside of a polling place. Mm. <laughs> the, uh, the, the copy of the affidavit signed November 8th uh, and obtained by, uh, by media outlets now, Washington Examiner's going in and they're weighing in. And uh, this was uh, helping uh, the whistleblower, worked as a poll worker from October 17th to the 30th, complained about a Biden-Harris bus or van that was often stationed outside of the polling place that would often have speakers, dancers, music, and other festivities going on, and whose organizers, uh, who had uh, been told several times a day to stay 100 feet from the polling location, had uh, also said that voters without proper identification were permitted to cast provisional ballots. So, uh, I mean, though, the uh, dealt with uh, improperly filled out ballots in the van belonging to supporters of the presumptive president-elect who uh, he saw while on a lunch break during that time. So, yeah, there's another one coming out of there. So we'll, we'll see what the lawyers say about that. And it's so mm. funny because I'm seeing videos yeah. that are getting posted on social media, then taken down of people doing these polls and UPS workers with ballots mm -hmm. and they're tossing them out. Mm -hmm. And ironically, those ballots were filled out for Donald Trump. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, what is going on? Like, <laughs> well, then let's go to the um, Dominion voting systems, the, the voting machines. Have you heard anything about this one, Red I, Pill Jim? Yep. Yes, I have. I've heard quite a bit about it. So last week, late last week, out of Michigan, okay, just in a single small county, uh, it was at 6,000 votes that were casted for Donald Trump went into the Joe Biden pile with these machines. Interesting. So, red flag. They do an investigation. And Michigan, 47 counties use that machine. They said it was a glitch. How many glitches are there? And then we look into it. Over a dozen states use this machine. Guess what states? All of these toss-up states. Yeah. Pennsylvania, Georgia, which there's a recount going yeah, on hand, right now. Hand counting every Everything. ballot in Georgia. Same thing in Michigan, in Wisconsin, in Arizona, where the ballots are still being counted. Oh, yeah. How can this be happening? We'll be lucky to know by Inauguration Day who's supposed to go and be in office, I think. Well, I think they said something. About, I saw something about a date about December 14th. They don't know what the hell. But I don't even about. think it's going to be by then. No. So it's too much I don't work. know. So. But, you know, here's the way I look at it. I mean, everyone knows that I am not a Trump supporter. But the thing is, I do support democracy. And I feel like bottom line is that the, the vote should be fair. And so as much as it pains me to say this, if it does work out that Biden did not win, then que sera sera. I, I don't, I don't want to see a victory get claimed that doesn't belong to that party. All we're asking for is legal and legit ballots being yeah, just exactly. be fair about That's it. it. Yeah. I don't, don't want to win by default or by, you know, no, it needs to be fair. It needs to exactly. be legit, yeah. bottom line. You know, w waking up from uh, alerts going off my phone, for five days straight at 4 a.m. 
of these all of a sudden hundreds of thousands of ballots yeah. Yeah. being found and counted. Yeah. Yeah, and when crazy. you get 120,000 of them that come in and 100 percent of them is for one candidate, I won't even say a name. Yeah. <laughs> That's a red flag. That's a yeah. red flag, yeah. Exactly. When 120,000 ballots come in, which happens to put somebody over the top, and 100%? Yeah. Like that's when you go. Wait a minute. Uh, just, just mathematically, something's not correct here. Yeah. yeah. I feel like it would be the exact same scenario if things were flipped and Absol- they were calling oh, yeah. it for Trump sure. and the Biden supporters would. I know I would. I'd be like, eh, I don't think so, buddy. Let's recount it. Right. So I, right. I'm sure they you would all it. sound just like that. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Very, yeah. very polite. You yes. know, very calm. Yeah. Yeah. Re- recount them. Yeah. <laughs> uh, make sure you have the legal right of the observers and the mm-hmm. watchers. Yeah. Not with like, like what they did in uh, Pennsylvania. Yeah. So they had this uh, this order, okay, and then the state of Pennsylvania, they said, okay, you can be six feet within, right? So they brought the observers, the Republican observers, uh, six feet closer, and then they moved the voting counters six feet more away. <laughs> yeah. Jeez. Like, are you like like? Could you be more obvious here, about it? Here's your problem. <laughs> If Trump ruins re-election and everybody goes crazy on one side, you screwed yourselves with the shadiness, yeah. with the not being transparent. Yeah. If there's smoke, there's fire. You know what I mean? Be open. Be tra- transparent. Don't put up boards over windows. Don't start clapping when when uh, when when a certain party's vote watchers are being yeah. removed. removed. Yeah. That's unlawfully just, that's just yeah. not classy i mean it's it's just it's it's skanky is how i see it yeah. you know? when you have ten thousand dead people who voted in 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 detroit alone yeah like something's weird yeah no and now the lawyers are on it and now it looks like the courts are getting involved but trump was prepping us for this he was, he was he saying was. during the, ba- the yeah. debates he that was saying it there's going to be fraud like we've never seen before. William and Barr was saying it, too. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. He knew it was going to happen. Yeah. The yeah. funny part is, is with the mainstream media, too, is just they, they did the same thing in 2000 with, with the Gore and uh, Bush. Yeah. Get run. out of my and head. They, I was just yeah, fixing and they, the and they said, oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Gore is going to be the president. Mm. And that whole thing happened in Florida mm-hmm. where they had boom. a recount. And they're like, right. oh, we were wrong. Uh, mm-hmm. Bush is your president. Yeah. And Bay, so, the Bay, hanging chad. You're yeah. old enough, Bay. How long did it take? Uh, how long was uh, was Gore given his recount? Well, what was it? Uh, 30 days. 30, 37 days. Uh, 39 total. Oh, 39, yeah. Because yeah. yeah, I actually old, lived old. in Florida right? at the time. Little old I remember all that. Right? And yeah. that's when I was like, nope, yeah. I can't trust that. If it's like that, nope, I'm good. Yeah, try living in Florida for all of that. I mean, literally, we're just walking around with our heads on <laughs> down. Shame. Just one, <laughs> of the, one of the best things that's going to come out of all of this, okay, is voter laws will be will be pushed and eventually passed. Yeah, voter mm-hmm. reform. Where you, there has to be identification. Asian. Yeah. Okay, I'm sorry. It's not a racist thing. It's no, not. It's, not, it, it, it's just no. like if you carry a gun. Yeah. Right? Yeah. <laughs> right? Okay. <laughs> I'm just saying. And this whole mass mail-in ballot, absentee ballots work great. I did it in the military. Mm-hmm. Yep. This whole make it rain ballot. ballot. <laughs> yeah. That's why you have what is going to project it Okay, media projecting. Yeah. <laughs> Hundreds of thousands of dead people voting. Mm-hmm. Well, Joe, you called that like t- what two months ago Friggin when the- when it first had come out that certain states were going to do, especially the ones that were mail in only. only. Yeah. And that was, I mean, you you went off about that a couple of times. It's terrible. Says, this is going to be a whole mess. It's and just it is. you 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 leave opportunity for people to do bad things. Oh yeah. Human error is what we're looking at. Yeah. yeah, we're not looking. If there's a glitch with these machines, that's a human error glitch. And if what OAN is reporting here, where it could be 2.7 million Trump votes deleted yeah. through these machines nationwide, mm-hmm. we'll find out. The computer is. Do you only guys as have good guesses as program, like right? as to what you think the total number will be? Well, data analysis about this Dominion uh-huh. voting machines. This is coming from a uh, uh, White House correspondent, uh, Chanel R- uh, Ryan from uh, One America News. Mm-hmm. Data analysis finds 221,000 Pennsylvania votes switched from President Trump to Joe Biden. Mm-hmm. 
Nine, uh, 941,000, almost a million Trump votes deleted states using Dominion voting systems. Switched also 435,000 mm-hmm. votes from Trump to Biden. Now, that is coming from a media source, uh, One America News, which, which I follow them. Mm-hmm. They're, they're, they're pretty cool. They're a little uh, on the cutting edge of alt media. Yeah. But if this comes to truth, yep. you got a problem. And the names that are attached to the Dominion voting systems and the fact that there is paper and trail records of Dominion, the co- it's a profit, for-profit company, company, by the yeah. way. Yeah. Which I think is so wrong. Okay. I mean, that's... And the fact that they have donations uh, nearing $50,000 to the Clinton Foundation. Mm. Okay. The fact that the former chief of staff of Nancy Pelosi is their lobbyist. Mm -hmm. Who's been very quiet, by the way. Okay. Well, she's not doing very well. (laughs) She didn't get get enough votes to reclaim her seat as speaker, even from her party. By by all this said and done, the Republicans could gain 12 seats in the House. 12. When they were projected to lose seats. Same thing with the Senate. Wait until you see in Michigan... Yeah. When Jones gets called, mm-hmm. I, has it been confirmed that uh, Diane uh, Feistein's husband is is a co-owner of, of Dominion? I don't think so. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I've heard that, I, but yeah. I, I yep, I heard yeah. that. Okay. But the the guy who runs it currently is the former ambassador, a former ambassador who was appointed by Barack Obama. Uh-huh. You, you, you can't have these type of companies with such political bias. I don't, mm-hmm. I don't think that should be allowed. Because that conflict of no, interest. No, it shouldn't. You know what I'm saying? Unreal. That's weird. Yeah. You know what else is weird, Bang? In about uh, 2005, 2006, a, uh, a group led by Jimmy Carter, former President Jimmy Carter, <laughs> led this nonpartisan group where they did their research on mail-in ballots mm-hmm. back then. You know what their conclusion was? <laughs> Not work. good. Don't do it. Don't work. Mm-hmm. Don't do it. That was uh, that was that was senators and congressmen all coming together and figuring that out, and <laughs> we still did it. Yeah. Don't you don't don't use pandemics to. Oof. <laughs> and that's where it stemmed from. As soon as we started closing down, that's when the whole idea of hey, mail-in ballots happened. All you a know? little bit too convenient yeah. for me. Yep. Did you know that this year a former Philadelphia's election judge was convicted? Of casting fraudulent ballots I, I and certifying that. false voting results in exchange for cash. Mm-hmm. I read that. that was this year. Mm-hmm. Philadelphia. Yeah. You know, one of the cities where 400,000 <laughs> votes appeared at 4 a.m.? Yeah, yeah, one of the battleground states. Okay. All right. Well, Joe even... Biden's openly bragged about how they cheated with Obama. Yeah. In Philadelphia. Yeah. More than one, this year, mm-hmm. more than 1,100 convictions. The voter fraud. That's insane. That's a big number. <laughs> and and you, and you wonder why people get upset when ballot counters or ballot observers get kicked out of rooms from Philadelphia. And that's just convictions. So that's the people yeah. that have gotten tried and caught. I like, mean, yeah, that's a number. Yeah, yeah. that's it, probably it a was, very was, very small. Thirteen hundred cases. Yeah. Uh, Eleven hundred convictions. Okay. Yeah. Wow. And that's just again, that's just what they caught. And that's just Philadelphia. Yeah. The old governor of Illinois. Blagojevich? Okay, or? yeah. I hated that man. Oh, you I hear remember you. I lived there for I hear my you. whole life before I moved here. Well, you know what he was saying? He goes, I know fraud. Yeah. Yeah. There's fraud in Atlanta. Yeah. This is this was he was saying this two days ago. Yep. He's a Democrat. Yeah. The former governor of Illinois. He actually did some jail time for selling his seat. Uh, so he the was Senate con- seat. yeah he was he was convicted of a- allegedly selling under uh, under under the desk money to for the seat in the Senate for Obama yeah when Obama mm-hmm. got elected president gotcha. because he was senator yes. of Illinois yes. in Illinois and so he gets elected so he's leaving that seat 
and uh, Bogoyevich, right? Bogoyevich, yeah. yep. Right. It, it's, it sounds like foreign food you buy at Piggly Wiggly. <laughs> <laughs> sounds right. more like a like a, a fish in the it, water. It, like, oh, that's I was, a Bogoyevich. I was thinking like gefilte fish. Oh, yeah, exactly. God. I was like, there's a Bogoyevich. So, but nonetheless, so he 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 got caught selling that seat. Mm-hmm. Right. I, I don't know how, how that. sell a seat? I, exactly. I don't know. <laughs> under the table. Under the table. Ah, we'll make you senator. We'll get yeah. you elected. We'll push Jeez. you. Right, right. You got my backing. Right. The new governor in Illinois can't even sit on a seat. Oh, okay. <laughs> So, but nonetheless, he, he was he was going out yep. to the media. Well, only to certain media that will let him speak, because he's like, "Listen, I know fraud." Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, I was deep in it in Chicago and Illinois. That's a pretty bold statement. Look, I know fraud. And if what, anyone knows fraud, it's me. And what happened? <laughs> it, and he goes, Atlanta, mm-hmm. yep. Georgia, which is being recounted right now. He specifically said Philadelphia. He yep. said Pittsburgh. He said uh, Detroit. Detroit. And you'll even see when Wisconsin comes under recount. Sure. Yeah. The lawyers are on it. So, uh, hey, again, if uh, you're dancing in the streets or your head is hung low, stop dancing. <laughs> stop hanging your head low. Just focus. Yeah. Just focus. And stop listening to mainstream media. Mm-hmm. Can I throw out one more thing? Yeah, what do you got, Doc? Twelfth Amendment. Have you guys talked about that? Oh, uh, do tell. Yeah. <laughs> do tell. So the Twelfth Amendment. Mm-hmm. Uh, my wife and I were going over this last night. Basically, if Trump just stands his ground, he he will be in. Here here's what here's how that works. Yes. So okay. Um, well, I can give you a quick. So yeah, go for it, Doc. What people are saying is, if the court systems can't get everything figured out, let's say that we get down to crunch time, it goes to the House. Mm-hmm. Well, they're all screaming on the news, you know, how wonderful this is because, of course, the Democrats control the House. What they haven't talked about is that in this case, uh, if, according to the 12th Amendment, not every representative gets a vote. Mm-hmm. Every state gets a vote. Uh huh. How many red states do we have right now? 37. Seven. That not leaves a, 13 blue. blue. Uh-huh. That would leave Trump reelected. That's not right, though. Well, it's in the Constitution. Constitution. It is right. It's It's absolutely right. No, I mean, I I don't mean that it's incorrect. I mean that it doesn't seem fair. Like, that's what I mean. Well, do you know who you blame then? Those who didn't want transparency. Yeah. 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 Who brought it to where we do have checks and balances, and that's what we're witnessing right now, to make sure that there is an election that is not only legit, but legal. Mm -hmm. That's why I said, even though it might end up coming out where my party doesn't win, at at the end of the day, I do still want to see it be called fairly in the name of democracy. I mean, the system is so broken, and we all know that. Why is that your party? What policies? Because I hate and, Donald Trump. No, if it, literally. But what's the policy that, that you guys stand on? And why literally. hate Donald? Wh- so I don't like the man. But <laughs> that's all there you is. You would to vote it. for someone that would lock us down. Who who who's trying who to? Who said I voted for Biden? Well, I'm just saying. Not me. Well, you said your party. <laughs> yeah. You did say your party, so I'm assuming. Because if I'm well, because here's how I see it: is that, and, and I did vote. For, I don't care. I'll tell people I did vote for Biden. Um, but it's because of the two party system. You have to, I feel like it's almost like you have to pick a side. It's like if you want to watch the Super Bowl, for example, and you don't give a single <laughs> crap about either team, you don't have to you pick, just a side. pick it. Well, if you do, if you want to root for it and drink when they have not a touchdown. necessarily, that's why they got, I understand game. what you're saying. That's yeah, why thank got, you, they got these yeah, independent my, parties. Yes, I get it. Doc's get, on my wavelength yes. here. He's, but, he's, but that's why you got <laughs> there your, was if, other options. I mean, yeah, if you did not like this two party system, that's why there's always a third party. I don't like politics. That's, that's another thing. I don't either, but if it's for, my if it's for my my for my views of the constitution my freedom in this country i i want to vote for the person that's going to do that for yeah. me and if some people are complaining about this two-party system that's fine my cousin just ran for a senate seat in illinois as a uh, libertarian how much did he pay he paid nothing okay. <laughs> my cousin has no enough. money my cousin has no money i love the kid to death no but that's something that's that table. option and right. i posted it on my facebook i'm sure you've seen it yeah. i said listen if you're not for a two party and you don't like yeah. either candidate you know look at libertarians here's, you know, here's the thing the, though that's is what thing. i cannot Rain stress party who was left off the ballots by the way notice that i cannot Actually, stress they, this they, enough some of them were but not all of them yeah. jorgensen was still on some oh i'm of talking about pennsylvania oh pennsylvania they were yeah i don't care about politics which i know makes me sound whatever and people can say whatever they want and they will say whatever they want but at the end of the day yeah i did my civic duty 
I voted. I have my opinions, but I am. I'm not one that. that you know what you care though about. I know what you I'm, care about. What's that? Paying your bills. Of course I do. But here, let me, here's, hear me out on this. All right? You asked me why. <laughs> mm-hmm. I'm giving you an honest answer. Is it the most educated answer? I know it's not. And again, people can laugh, say I'm, I'm whatever, but I'm being honest about it. Yeah. I don't know enough about it to have an educated debate or conversation. But and you're not a dumb person. No, I'm well, not. By it it sounds like you refuse to educate yourself in it politics. It confuses me and it frustrates me. And at the end of it all, I look at it in a, in a way that it, it sort of just is going to be what it's going to be. I'm not going to go out here and catch another Facebook ban talking crap about Trump or but I'm just See, you sell mm-hmm. yourself short. I you, you're more powerful than you think you are. Mm-hmm. Okay? You are someone that has intelligence. You present your arguments well or at least your opinions or your thoughts well. Mm-hmm. And then on top of it, uh, you, you you're an influencer. Mm-hmm. All right? And the fact And Is there I and I sitting behind me. And, <laughs> and I understand the fact that it sucks picking up responsibilities, yeah. especially when you got so many already in life, to take on the responsibilities of learning policies and politics and individuals. So I get that. Yeah. I, I understand that sucks, but sometimes you got to do it so you can play chess and it doesn't come back to bite you in the ass. So, mm-hmm. the, so essentially you're saying that it's almost my responsibility to at least make an attempt to try and, and learn more. I mean, yeah. and I do try. And I mean, hell, in college when I took political science, I aced it. That's a mistake yeah. right I, there. No I, wonder why you, no wonder you, why you think to. the way you think. <laughs> you, it's, yeah. it's a, come on, it's a core requirement. I, Trust I, me, you I, have yeah, to. I, took the, I took that class too. You know. But I, mean, I my, didn't pass aces, well, that's for sure. Point, I mean, I did. I got a you know, perfect A in the class. And oh, I, mean, I never, bet. But Can I ask you real quick? Good cheat. Yeah, Did, do you hate Trump because he burst the bubble? Like, I hate we were him kind as of a comfortable. person. Okay, what, what, what do you hate about as him? As a person. I just, I can't say a lot of it on the air. We've already it's okay. got flags. That's okay. I just, I've, I've never liked the man since the days of The Apprentice. I think he is a spoiled, rotten little shithead. And I think that he goes around saying that he's a self-made man when he's not. He got a sm- hold on, you asked. That yeah. no, he got a small real. loan of a million. I love a small loan of a million dollars. I, oh, you, I could you do don't, great things with it. Y- see, your information that you get that was that was given to you. That, that information. was based on two, because if that's you based want, on I, documentaries that I've watched. The book that of his course. documentaries wrote, are right. The, and, someone who's produced documentaries. Yeah. They can be skewed either way. Of course, and I've seen them where they've been skewed. People ways. need to do their own research when they watch mm-hmm. a documentary. Well, that's my way of doing that research because here's here's my problem with documentaries it. are entertainment. Yes. Here, here's yeah, my issue with it. Okay, I can go on to one website, all right, and I can see one thing. I can go on to another website, I see something totally different. Now, as someone like myself, who yeah, I know I'm intelligent. I know I have the ability to figure it out. I don't know where you got the influencer thing from, but it's almost it's it's like. It gets so frustrating for me because I literally don't know who to believe and I know they're both lying. And so that's why a lot of times when I sit and talk to you, Joe, where, you know, I, I mean, that's why I ask questions. That's why I sit and I don't throw in opinions on certain things because I don't know enough about it to even pretend to sound But smart. then if that's you the know? case... Then you voted, and you voted for somebody that you also didn't do any research on. My vote was a throwaway vote. No, no, no. 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 And here, I, no, I don't here's, believe that statement here's, whatsoever. Here's that's, why. Because I live in Tennessee. No, no, no. no that's, well, I, 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 I don't Tennessee. like that statement. I, no, I me, lived in uh, Washington let me State, rephrase. which what, is yeah. pure blue, and there was no way I was ever voting for anybody that was Let me Democrat, rephrase right? that. Okay, Knowing he won. that my vote wouldn't win. I mean, I voted, but Trump won 72 to 27. My little pissant vote was not going to be and and you know what you know the reason I voted is because I stopped and I thought about the logic behind what the way I was thinking because I thought well if there were 300,000 people who thought just like me you know well tell you what take Arizona right now all right where Biden currently not official numbers according to these uh, these ballots has a 11,000 lead ba- okay. ballot lead when there's about 45,000 ballots still to count. Which I, I see, I don't understand that either. Like, I'm, I'm watching it, and I'm trying to understand it. And, you know, I, my, my family was in town last week, and, mm-hmm. and she's a huge politico. She knows a lot. And she's trying to kind of explain, and I don't want it to come off Should like, have brought well, her in. Well, she's back in, she's back home. She's in Georgia. No, last week. Oh, oh, two little ones. Um, well, anyway, They could have sat in the car. <laughs> Jesus. Cracked the window. <laughs> nice. 
But, um, and I, I don't want to sound like I'm not a complete ignoramus on it. I mean, I understand the amendments. I understand that type of stuff. When I say I don't understand politics, it's, it's the media spin on it. So yeah. I don't want to come, like, I understand what an electoral, I, I understand the electoral college. I mean, I, I understand all, and the popular vote, I get it. But what confuses me and what irritates me to no end and makes me just throw my hands up and say, screw it all, is the media. You know, because I don't feel like I can find an unbiased source. And I and so I, I you know, when I do my, my conspiracy research, I look at one person's theory, I look at another and I come up with my own. You can't do that. Stop watching mainstream media that's owned by Disney. Well, yeah. <laughs> do you know what I mean? You, I, I you're do. not and wrong. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's, very, it's I, just I hear what you're saying. It's I hear what you're saying. Frustrating. Just. You gotta understand these corporations, they have an agenda. And it's not news. Wait, you can you can give me a homework assignment then, Joe. You can you can give me something to look up and I'll research. Start it. watching <laughs> Newsmax on uh, YouTube. They have a live stream twenty four seven. All right. You, you give me one question and I'll, I'll when I come on the show on, on Thursday I'll I'll start watching I'll Newsmax or listening you. to Newsmax and see if you can uh, even stand it. That's a yeah. test. Because if you can't stand it, <laughs> then I understand that you're all in and you don't want to change I do want to and well, I, I will, well, I will do it that's what the homework test will, I will. will, will, will check you ha I, I've never lied to you before in all mm -hmm. the years I've known you and I, I'm not going to lie can, now can I, I, I just squash the shot. idea that you're not an influencer real quick you, yeah, I just got, you're yeah, speaking okay. into a microphone that's, that's on true. a program that's going that's around true. the world <laughs> yeah. you are an influencer you are, yeah. I am pretty spectacular much more than you believe mm -hmm. and not as much as pay but <laughs> on a <laughs> daily <laughs> basis yeah, yeah. 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 That? that's true not as much of an influencer as bay that's why I like to sit next to bay it makes me look important oh, I'm an influencer yeah uh, right. we, we just you learned, influence we, me bay that's all I know <laughs> <laughs> me and bay just learned this about ourselves I, I don't <laughs> learn something new every day thank you though all of you though for for listening to for you know so coming up, <laughs> I was just going to say, I was going to say, like, it's your it's just your kidding. it's your choice to speak. It's your freedom of speech. And that's that's why yeah. we have it in there for, for ourselves. No, to I have. just want to say you I appreciate know, our first amendment is to have a freedom of speech. And I appreciate y'all trying to help me learn and, and not just poo pooing the whole thing and saying, well, you're you're a lost cause. You know what's uh, you, you know what I think would help form your convictions what's and that? your thoughts? is watching us try to have the same exact conversation, say the tables were turned, and we were talking with a entire group of, say, liberal, far-left people. Mm -hmm. That makes me want to shudder. I don't want to be around <laughs> those people okay. either. <laughs> and imagine us trying to get our thoughts and our opinions yeah. out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And where we sat here, nobody jumped on you. No. Nobody, harumph, oh, harumph. Har har <laughs> Well, that's listen. the great thing about the show. Anyone can come on and have their opinions and not get. But try doing challenged. that on a yeah. on a as on say, a show hosted by leftists. As I say, oh, yeah. I can imagine. professional level. Yeah. 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 yeah, we may not agree on things, but I'm going to try and listen to see, understand why you think a certain way, and I'm going to explain to you why I think a certain way. And I'm yeah. going to watch Newsmax, and I'll I'll get back to you. Give it a shot. I will. See I what happens. You have my word. Okay. Just gonna come in wearing a MAGA hat. <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's not let's not get carried away, Joe. She could be like, "I'm fixed. I'm fixed. Believe me." Oh no, let's not. Let's not get. Let's She's not gonna. Get you gotta, are fake news. Gotta watch her uh, her her Google history. How do? Can I change my vote? Can I, <laughs> can I change my vote? You don't want to see my Google history. Uh. <laughs> it's the Joe Padula Show. Out of Bing, Clarksville's conversation.